So here you can see my Simon modified transmitter with external Wi-Fi antenna with a connector inserted as well so I can change the antenna so as I go and here is the spectrum analyzer using an SMA cable and because this SMA is a reverse which common for the Wi-Fi and I need, need an adapter here which makes it the reverse SMA to a, a normal SMA connection after that comes the SMA I have to make the binding to have some RF output but before of that I would like to show you the results it's about minus 5 dBm it looks like an FSK or GFSK modulation uh, at the 2.4 GHz reference range and now I am resetting the spectrum it's a max hold so uh, yeah this is not a professional or high-end spectrum analyzer so it's hard to catch this uh, fast signal so now I make the binding and now we can see a transmission and also I have to click the update and as you can see there is the Output spectrum emission keeps accumulated as far as my spectrum as I spectrum analyzer can catch it on a good uh, trigger occasion. I have two markers, but now I'm just deactivate marker two and. We have marker one, so yeah, it's pretty pretty much the same. It's around minus six dBm, and I'm using thirty kilohertz resolution bandwidth. That you can see here, um, because now we have two peaks at the FSK. The power is splitted to these two, so possibly the CV output power is a bit higher. But uh, yeah, this is what we are measuring now. And here is the data sheet of the RF transceiver. As they state, it's 3 dB M output power. Try to zoom in. Yeah, you can see here. Uh, there is all the information what we need. The power consumption. It's 23 dBm at the max output power mode. Yeah, and I'm not sure which output power mode they are using. It should be the 5 or 0 or minus 5. Maybe 0 or minus 5 because uh, <clears throat> what we measured before that minus 6 dBm. This is where I am supposed, but maybe they have some problem with the matching network, the RF layout. And the, the, maybe they got a lower output power because of that. We see here a typical application as well. Possibly this is inside the Sima opter. This is packaging. So, yeah, this is what we got. To use another, use again the spectrum plot. You can see it and 2D as well. Yeah, it's a bit funny. It looks like a frequency hopping mode. And <clears throat> when we take a look at the 2D diagram, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it's just too fast modulation because uh, I can clearly see 
the GFSK peaks at the middle of the emission. Maybe it's just because <clears throat> this hopping looks like hopping mode is because my spectrum analyzer is slow. The sweep time now is 130 milliseconds. So that's the output power of the SIMA transmitter. And thanks for watching.